what's up and welcome back to the reno series phase two if you can't tell i'm very sweaty right now because i've already gotten started for the day i'm getting kind of a late start though it's 1 30 right now because i got my hair done this morning if you can tell she looks nice and fresh and it was beautifully curled and it still kind of is but my sweat is just taking over at this point and it's just not cute anymore if you guys are not already caught up to this point make sure to watch the first video phase one of this renovation so that you get caught up but basically we have enough done right now we're at the point where we can start moving stuff in and that is why i am so sweaty right now because I've been loading my car with stuff all morning. So I just took an entire car load over here and just unloaded it into the house. Basically my goal is to load the car up completely every single time that I come over here from now on so that I'm taking over a large load of stuff every time I come to do a house project. I am literally so sweaty right now though. Oh my goodness. I'm wet. Look at how red my face is. <laughs> This is just a tragedy. How hot is it right now? It is 99 degrees and it feels like 101. Awesome! Anyways, we're taking over a load every time I come over here now, I'm also gonna put it away. Versus when you move everything in all at once in boxes and then you're unpacking for weeks and deciding where everything goes, I'm literally just gonna take a load over, put everything away, and then do that each time. But today the actual projects that I'm gonna be working on are finishing the painting in the master bedroom, finishing the painting in the master closet, and also hopefully the doors in the master bedroom. And then I literally have the smallest, most minuscule amount of paint to do in the front room as well. Since it's already 1.30, and even though that doesn't sound like a lot of things, it's kind of just like touching up small areas of paint. It definitely is going to take a while. But then if I still have time and energy later today, I'm also going to take off the rest of the popcorn ceiling that is hanging around the living room right now. But those things should definitely take up my entire day. And then I'm so mad at myself because I got contact paper to put in these shelves and drawers for everything in the kitchen, but I forgot it at home. So that is going to be tomorrow's project. And then once that's done, I can actually start bringing in kitchen stuff as well. All right, I got to start putting some of this stuff away because I am so sweaty and I just need to keep going at this point or else I'm gonna get tired and I'm gonna want to stop. <laughs> So the previous owners left a bunch of stuff in the shed and they left a lot of this scorpion killer. Um, I should be very alarmed, right? Because <laughs> if they have this much scorpion killer, I'm really, really scared. I've still only ever seen one scorpion since moving to Phoenix two years ago and it was literally the size of my thumb. It was a baby and I smashed it with my crock. If I see an actual scorpion, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm literally going to a hotel. it's the next day it is now Sunday and this will be my second time at the house this weekend I kind of had to leave abruptly yesterday because it started like torrential downpouring it was like insane and not that the rain really bothered me while I was here but it was so cloudy that it was like literally almost pitch black in this room and you guys know that there are not any overhead lights so there was just no way for me to see and paint anymore so I just got out of here and called it a day but I did get the ceiling done yesterday so it has its final coat of paint on oh my gosh it looks so good I did not however finish these edges I don't know if you can tell yeah they look a little scrappy over there I did this wall but no other walls before it got too dark and then I did get the rest of the first coat done on this back wall in the closet as you can see it is all white and matching now but I need to get the rest of the corners for a second coat and then also this little door I'm not quite sure how to go about it I don't want to like seal it shut with paint so I'm gonna figure out what to do with that but then one of the big things that I'm gonna work on today is the shower now I kind of mentioned this in the house tour but the knob on the master shower is just disheveled and not 
it's not gonna cut it for me. So I already bought a new handle and I'm going to attempt to put it on today. I'm sorry, but I am not using this under any circumstances. I have one of these types of knobs in our shower right now in the apartment and it's awful. I hate it so much. So yes, we are going to attempt to take this thing off. I'm not really sure how to do it. I'm probably gonna look up a YouTube video and figure it out. Because the other guest bathroom shower is also pretty much unusable at this point. So we need at least one working shower before we move in and I wanna tackle this today day because if I can't do it myself then I'm literally gonna need to hire someone to do it and I'd like to get that done sooner than later but first things first obviously there is a beautiful natural light right now so I'm gonna finish the edges in the bedroom then we're gonna tackle the closet then the shower and there we have it the ceiling and walls are completely done in the master bedroom looks so good it's so bright and pretty I love it now I'm working on the inside of the closet I just did this frame over here you can see the difference Actually, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it definitely is very, very different. This one is fully white now, and now I'm just getting the edges along here because they needed a second coat, but it's looking good. All right, so little update. I did take the handle off of this. It's sitting right here. Like, look at how absolutely disgusting this is. And it turns out I definitely did order the wrong type of handle that was meant to go on this shower. It's just like not the right fit. I don't know how to explain it, but I do need to order a new handle. The one I got will not work, but it will fit the other shower actually, so I'm just gonna keep it and put it on that one. It's really cute and matte black, so you just can't go wrong, so I will definitely find a new one for this shower, but unfortunately, I will not be able to complete that task today. on the home stretch of this phase two of the reno this is gonna be the last full weekend of renovation stuff and then next weekend we're officially moving in i'm already sweaty because i was just moving some stuff in i didn't have like a huge load of stuff today but i did start moving in clothing because i did finish the master closet last weekend so that's awesome and then besides that i just moved a few other random things like some under the bathroom sink stuff and my roller skates but now comes the time my least favorite time is sanding the ceiling. This is truly the worst part of scraping a ceiling. The actual scraping part really isn't even bad. It's the sanding part. So this is going to take a while. I assume that I'm not gonna be able to finish the whole ceiling today because it's a lot of surface area in the living room, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. It's almost like 12 o'clock right now. Today, I actually packed myself a lunch so I don't have to go all the way home for lunch this time. And that way I can get literally as much done as possible. Like, look at the sweat on my face right now. I'm already dying. This is going to be a hell of a day. <laughs> like when I get it finished sanding the ceiling. I obviously cannot stop the dust from forming in the crevices that are not covered, but I try to cover my eyes and mouth as much as I can. And my face is crimson red because under the hat and the goggles and the mask and then breathing in the mask hot air, it is very, very hot. And usually sweat is dripping into my mouth the entire time. Now I'm gonna take a lunch break. Hey guys, what's up? We are back at the house and this is going to officially be 
the last weekend that we will not be living here. Isn't that insane? But tomorrow we're going to like super officially move in with the bed and everything and actually sleep here tomorrow night. So it's gonna be crazy. But today I am finishing up the living room. I should be able to finish it within a few hours. All I have to do is spackle the ceiling, give it a second coat and then paint the baseboards. But other than that, the living room is done. So after that, I can just move in stuff for the rest of the day. And it's gonna be a long sweaty day. Thank goodness the heat has kind of broken a little bit and it's a little bit cooler. It's at least not triple digits here in Arizona, but it's still not gonna be that fun, honestly. So here is the living room right now. It's so echoey, but I did the whole second coat of paint on the walls and the upper corners. And then as you can see, no more popcorn ceiling. She is gone, baby. But as you can see, there's still like a couple little nicks and stuff, so I need to spackle those today. It was getting too dark yesterday, so once I do that, I'll wait for them to dry. I can do the baseboard. You can see they're very yellow uh, while that dries, and then I sand it, and then do the second coat on the ceiling, and this is Oh my gosh, so happy. And we've also hit a slight snag when I came over here during the week. I actually realized there was a big puddle of water outside of our half bath on the first floor and our toilet is leaking. Yay! So someone will be here to fix that on Monday. I did turn the water to the toilet off though, so it's not leaking anymore. So it's not like causing any damage or anything. It's okay, but we cannot use that toilet right now. And then I also started putting in contact paper in the cabinets and stuff. And oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much more work than I thought it was going to be like cutting the contact paper trying to fit it in there and then like some of the cabinets are oddly really deep so once I like put it in there it gets all like crumpled and stuck together so it's just like not a seamless process and I'm not a fan but I do plan on getting that done today so that I can start putting dishes in the cupboards like just this piece alone was so much freaking work but like look at how like deep this cabinet goes it was so hard to get this in there and it was like crumpling all in the back and stuff and like cutting this edge and like this little notch yeah it wasn't fun and then up there is something like sticky and brown I think it's like soy sauce or teriyaki or something it's disgusting so I'm gonna try to clean it best I can and then cover it so yeah these cabinets are like literally disgusting I would not eat off of dishes that are in this cabinet hopefully ones like this will be a little bit easier but I'll still have like these like notches you know and those are like difficult to cut around so that will definitely be a fun project for later today but right now I need to get to the spackling so that I can do it while it's still nice and bright outside and I can see all the little dents in the ceiling so I'm gonna get started on that then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit so I definitely do not have enough contact paper to do all the cabinets and drawers right now I didn't really think about that like measuring each space and making sure that I had enough so I just did everything that I could right now so the first shelf in here is done and yes I'm a dumbass and I like cut this the wrong way so I mean that kind of looks bad but oh well it doesn't really matter it's just the inside of a cabinet no one's gonna see but then I did this entire cabinet, so I've got these shelves, and then I put the water bottles up there on that one since it was done. And then the very last shelf that I had space for was this one. I knew tall glasses are probably gonna go here, so I figured I should just do this one last so I can actually put some clean glasses there today. So that's all the progress we can make on putting the contact paper in until I order some more on Amazon. I'm probably gonna order like quite a few more rolls just to get it all done. And then the ceiling is completely spackled. It's been drying this whole time, and I think it's probably ready at this point to be sanded. So so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and do the second coat of paint. The ceiling is done, y'all. Look at that, wow. Now I am going to do the floor because as you can see, it's disgusting. I just vacuumed and now I'm gonna mop. Hey guys, so it has definitely been a few weeks since I filmed those last clips and we are officially moved in now. The keys to the apartment are turned in, it's officially done, and we are only here. With that being said, I wanted to end off this video with just a few updates on the home since we've moved in. The first thing is that I never told you guys what ended up happening with the shower handle, and so it turns out that I cannot get a different type of handle. The valve that is in the wall for that shower can only accept that type of handle, which is the handle that I hate. So I literally have to replace the valve in the wall in order to get a different type of handle. And my dad plans on coming out here to help me with a few home renovation things. Things, and so that is going to be one of the things on our list is replacing the valve in the wall so that I could get a different handle. Second thing is the toilet update. So I do have a home warranty and I decided to call them since plumbing is usually covered under them. Somebody came out and looked at the toilet. It turns out that the tank is cracked. I'm not sure how that happened, but oh well. And cracked porcelain is actually not covered under my home warranty. So that is something that I need to figure out.
figure out for myself. My dad said that it should be easy enough to replace a toilet tank by myself by simply just watching a YouTube video. I'm not so sure about that. So once again, I'm probably gonna wait for him to come out here in order to do that task, but we have just not used that toilet ever since. It's fine, we have two other bathrooms, it's not a big deal. The next big thing that happened is I was rinsing off that ladder that we've been using for all the home renovations with our hose in the yard. And ever since I turned it on that very first time, the hose was drastically leaking. It wasn't just the hose, it was the actual spout that like the hose was connected to, you know, like off the side of the house. And we literally only just got that replaced because as soon as that started leaking, we went to San Diego and then I went to Seattle and then we had a bunch of other things that popped up that were more important and so that only just got fixed. Luckily the HOA helped me with that and they sent a plumber to come replace the valve. I could have done it myself, I even bought the part, but the old valve was just so like corroded on there because it was definitely like original so I needed someone with like big manly muscles to be able to twist that thing off and put on the new one. So the hose is good now but that definitely was very annoying. The next thing that broke on the house was the master bedroom window. I definitely knew this place needed new windows when we moved in. They are very old, they're original to the house and they're very rickety, they're not energy efficient so I knew I'd have to do new windows eventually but the one in the master bedroom really hit the fan. I was opening at night when we first moved here just to get some cool air in the middle of the night. I love having a window open and getting fresh air. And every time I would go to close it, it got harder and harder. And then it got to the point where we literally couldn't close it. I mean, we got it closed eventually, but we're like, okay, we cannot open this window anymore. And on top of that, it's just in such bad shape. The glass of the window is literally like separating from the frame. Like you can jiggle the glass within the frame. It's awful. I just had to get quotes on new windows. So we are going to be replacing the living room window that I'm staring at right now and the master bedroom window. Only those two for now though. Windows are expensive. The other ones will do for now and maybe I'll replace those next year, but we're just gonna do these two for right now. So I did just get quotes on windows and we did decide on a company. So in about 16 weeks, we will have new windows. And as if everything wasn't already broken, our washing machine broke as soon as we moved in. Again, this is something that we put off because we were traveling. And so we called someone from the home warranty as soon as we got home from traveling because the wash is covered under that but it turns out the washing machine that came with this house <laughs> can I help you but it turns out the washing machine that came with this house doesn't have a serial number or model number someone literally ripped it off of the washer and if you don't know anything about homes like me it turns out that no one will service your washer if it doesn't have a serial number or model number I don't know if the last guy like stole this washing machine or bought it stolen but everyone I talked to has never heard of this happening before so it's definitely a little sketch I was gonna go the route of contacting the homeowner and like trying to figure out the serial number and stuff but honestly it was just getting to the wire he wasn't responding so we literally had to buy a new washing machine I got one on offer up and luckily the guy was so nice and he delivered it for us and so I literally just installed a new washing machine and actually the old one is in our dining room right now because I need to schedule a garbage pickup for that so that was pretty much an absolute nightmare that was probably one of the most annoying things that was broken with the house because we literally couldn't wash our clothes last few things are I broke the light that is in the stairwell so I need to install I knew one of those. I do have the new light, but it involves electricity. So again, gonna wait for you, dad, to come fix it. <laughs> I did install a new thermostat myself. I got a smart thermostat. It's the Google Nest one. It's really nice, very happy with it, but I can't use it on my phone yet until we get internet, which is the next thing. We still don't have internet. We have lived here for about like three weeks now, maybe almost even a month, and we still don't have internet. Like there's a shortage of modems or something like that. So yeah, that's been very unfortunate, but we're kind of getting used to it at this point. And then the very last thing that needs to be done kind of soon is the palm tree on our patio is severely overgrown on the base. It needs to be pruned down to make it skinnier, I guess. She needs a little tummy tuck. And then I also need someone to trim the actual like leaves on it because they're overhanging on the sidewalk and they're like really in the way on our patio as well so I need someone to trim the leaves and prune the base so I'm currently looking into getting tree trimming estimates so those are all the updates on the house honestly for a while there I felt like every single thing was going wrong and breaking but now things are finally starting to come together and it's finally starting to feel like a home I knew we bought a fixer-upper but I did not expect major things to break so quickly that brings us to the end of phase two of our home renovation I hope you guys enjoyed watching as soon as we're officially settled in, get a few new furniture pieces and fix everything that's broken, I will definitely make sure to do a home tour for you guys. But with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles!